Hello. Um, a lot of the time when we're working with education data, for example, here I've got a percentage attendance graph, we want to apply to the graphs some kind of traffic like system. For example, with, when we're working with attendance data, quite often we'd like to highlight uh, poor attenders, i.e. attenders with less than 90% attendance as red. Possibly pupils with really good attendance in blue, ordinary attendance in green and amber and and so on and so forth for everybody else. Um, and of course, with Power BI, it's relatively straightforward to add conditional formatting to this graph. For example, uh, to add conditional formatting to this graph, I might go to the data colors section here and um, use the FX button there, which allows me to format it by some uh, rules which I can set up at this point here based on the percentage attendance year to date measure, which is how I'm calculating the percentage attendance. And I can say that if the value is greater than or equal to uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.99, 99% or 0.99 as it's internally referred to, and less than one, then I can say uh, I want that in a nice blue color and I can add more rules so that I can say if it's between 0 0.95 and 0 0.99, then maybe a green color. And I can go through this list and I can apply these colors um, to, the, um, to the graph here. Uh, in fact, if I click on OK now, we should see some of those colors taking effect. There we go. So you can see how you can build this up uh, to create um, a colored uh, uh, graph, but it takes time. Um, once you've uh, got several of these graphs on the screen, you've got to change them all individually, uh, and 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 soon uh, and soon enough, you've spent half an hour or an hour changing these colours. And if somebody decides they want different colours, you've got to go back in and change the colours individually again. So there's an easier way that I found that I wanted to share with you that uses a measure to set these colours. So one single measure to set these colours. And then we just apply the measure as the conditional formatting to all the graphs that we want to use this particular uh, set of colours. So let's have a look how we can do that. So yeah, I'm going to create a measure. I'm going to create it in my pupils table here. So I'll click on the three dots to the side of pupils and click on a new measure. And here I can start to build the expression. Now it's going to go across several lines, this one. So um, I'll type the name of the measure first. Uh, attendance traffic lights, I'm going to call it, equals. And then I'm going to use the shift and enter key to open up a second line. So I can spread this out over multiple lines and make it more legible. Well, the main um, uh, command here in this, uh, in this bit of DAX is the switch command. Uh, so I'm going to type switch in here and click tab to accept the IntelliSense uh, version there. And the way switch works is we must first specify something uh, called the expression. Uh, now I'm going to put the command true as the expression here. Now true is uh, an expression that is always true, as you probably expect. But it just allows us really to skip this bit and get down to the next bit, which is where we put a value and the corresponding result that we want. So I'm just going to put true in there. I'll have it uppercase. And I'll move it on to the next line, again, just to help with legibility. And then, as you can see from IntelliSense, that it wants a value as the next part of the formula. So shift and enter again. Uh, and this time, the value I want it to evaluate is the attendance year to date measure. This is what I'm actually calculating the percentage attendance for each pupil against, and is hence the foundation for the graph that you can see on the screen at the moment. So I'm going to choose that. That's the value. Well, I'm going to put a comma in next and it moves on to the result. Sorry, that's not the value. I just, just step back a little bit. I've not quite finished off on this. And what I want to say is that if the percentage attendance year to date measure is greater than or equal to 99%, and I'm going to write that as point 0 0.99 because that's how it's stored internally. And then I'm going to put the comma in and then I can put the result if true.
Now the result if true is the color that I want to apply using this particular uh, uh, formula. Now if I bring across um, a website here uh, so you can see it, uh, this is this is a, a, a website that talks about the RGB colors, red, green, blue colors. And all you'll be familiar perhaps with the hex codes that all these colors have. And indeed, you could use a hex color if you wanted to as the second part of, uh, of the line that we're working on now. But to me, it's much easier if we use the actual English uh, words on the back there. So I'm going to use these words and we can put them straight straight in. And I'm going to say, right, OK, if they've got 99% uh, um, attendance or more, then I'm going to put in, um, uh, I'm going to colour the, uh, the bar chart turquoise. So all I need to do is make sure I spell turquoise exactly as we see it there. Open up a set of uh, quotes there, paste turquoise in there and close it with a set of uh, uh, double quotes immediately after it. And then we just build it up line by line. So on the next line, I want to see percentage attendance year to date, if it's greater than or equal to 0 0.95. In that case, I want it to be, well, the color on that grid is yellow green. So just again, picking up the names uh, from that website. That website is just one of many you can use. These RGB colors are, 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 are a standard set of colors that you can pick the names up from a wide variety of uh, websites. So I'll just continue now. Notice I don't need to put two bounds to that. I don't say, I have to say greater than or equal to 0.95 and less than 0.99 because as soon as this formula meets one of the criteria that is successful it stops evaluating and doesn't evaluate the ones below so if you put them in order like i'm doing here highest first to the lowest at the bottom you can rely on it working in a in, in, a, in a regular way um, as it were so traffic lights yeah we'll put the orange color in here make sure i spell it right if you don't spell them right, you don't get an error message. You just don't get the color. Um, so make sure you spell them right. And I suppose for the last one here, it's less anything less than 0 0.90. And that should be uh, a red color. I think I can just put red in like that. And there we go, that's the final line of that. So we don't put a comma after that one. But what I will do is go on to the next line and just finish off the brackets there. So now we've completed our measure called attendance traffic lights. How do we make it work though now with our graph? Well, what we can do is we can highlight the graph. Let's make that a bit smaller. We can go to the graph, and here's our data colors section for the graph. And currently, as we'll notice, it's uh, putting this uh, these colors on here. I'll just cancel those colors so it goes back to the default colors, which are completely blue. So what we want to do is click on the FX button there, which allows us uh, into this screen here. And what we want to do this time is format by um, a field value and base it on the field that is called, if we remember in our pupils database, we have our attendance traffic lights. So there's the measure that we just created. Now we can pick it up and now I can click on OK. And if we spelt all those colors correctly, there you go. We now have those colors applied. You can fine tune it a little bit. I'm not quite sure about the shade of green that I've chosen there, but you can fine tune that. And the advantage to this is, of course, if you want to change that shade of green, you just need to change it into one place. You don't need to change it on every single visualization. So I hope that's useful for you. Um, if it is, that's great. And uh, I hope you enjoy using Power BI with your school data. Thank you.